So how do you find this watch? Uh, this is not brown. This is not also a tan color. Mm, I don't know what is the color of this. Uh, how do you... Uh, on say name. Okay, on say name uh, or the exact uh, color. Okay, good day. So by the look of that, huh, it's very, I mean, it's very pretty obvious what kind of watch that is, right? It is, of course, there's no other watch that has that packaging. And then it's, you know, it's fossil. So before we're going to start with our uh, watch review, uh, let me tell you something about fossil. So fossil group incorporated, uh, is an American fashion designer and manufacturer founded in 1984. Okay, so their brands include Fossil, Relic, BMW, Michel, Watch, Skagen, Denmark, Misfit, WSI, and Zodiac watches. And then also Fossil uh, makes licensed accessories for brands such as Puma, uh, Emporio Armani, Michael Kors, the very famous MK, DKNY, D Diesel, uh, Kate Spade, New York, Tory Burch, Chaps, and Armani Exchange. Okay, so now let's open the box and then let's try to see if this watch suits your taste. Mm. Oops. Okay, so that's the manual. Okay, there it is. Okay, let's pull this out. Let's try to see if this watch uh, if this watch really suits our taste okay it's blue dial I really love blue dial watches okay, I really love blue dial. I do not know uh, I don't I really do not know what's with the blue color but I really love uh, color blue so every time I, I, I buy a watch it must always be a blue dial and also even also just a trivia uh, also when I, whenever I also buy uh, a sun, uh, sunglasses uh, I also want it to be blue with blue lens so this is fossil commuter okay uh, fossil commuter men's watch uh, it's made of stainless steel and then the band is made up of leather as you can see here at the back mm -hmm. does it say genuine leather yep it does say genuine leather so the the size of this watch uh, without the crown the size of this the diameter is 42 millimeters and then this is a water resistant resistance watch of 50 meters convert to feet that is 165 feet and then the crystal is made of mineral this one it's made of mineral crystal and then the thickness is 12 millimeters so this is a quartz okay quartz watch and then when we say quartz it is battery operated so it is not an automatic watch and as you can see here okay the the movement is japan so it's a pretty decent looking watch it's kind of dressy but it's also kind of casual or rugged because of the color of the band it's like the color of a clay and then if you're going to look at here, there is an accent here. Uh, there, there is an accent uh, sa iyang band. Na siya murag tahi diha. No, na siya tahi. May tahi siya. There's a thread. Uh, the off-white color thread to accent to, to the band, to the design of the band. And then there is a calendar there. The calendar, it's not really that fancy looking calendar. Unlike with other watches that they have a fancy looking calendar but this one is kind of very simple and then if you're going to see if you're going to feel the weight of the uh, of the watch it's it's not really that heavy it's kind of um light it's lighter as compared to other fossil watches and then what i also like with this watch if you're going to look there if i'm going to focus it one here look at the indicator look at the number 12 and then the indicator there see it's nice it's not printed on the dial 
it's it's some somehow it's like um kana siyang gi mura siyang stainless siyang uh, material and then a cut uh, a cut out stainless material and then glued over or on top of the of the dial okay so that's how i describe it or that's how i that's how i that's how i see it and then i also like the the design here this one here kani iyang tauranan sa band because usually uh watches they don't have this kind of design okay so this one it's kind it's kind of different from other watches so if you're going to ask me if if i like I, i like the watch well i like the look of the watch it's uh, it's a between uh, a dressy and casual or rugged looking watch but what i really don't like or the downside of this watch is the band okay uh, because i'm not a fan of leather bands because i perspire a lot i'm a kind of person who perspire a lot and then when this band if i if i use watch uh if i use watch if i wear watch that has a leather band and then kanang always siya mabasa sa akong singot uh it gets stinky over time so that is why i'm not really a fan of uh of a leather of a leather band watches for me it's kind of um solid watch because it's fossil and then we all know that fossil is a known brand then they are known manufacturing quality and uh, quality durable watches another downside of this watch also is this one see it's kind of awkward looking there is only one like this uh what do you call this one the belt I don't know if the if you call this one the belt. There's only one, and then it's big. It it was not cut uh cut in half. This is only for my opinion. It's kind of awkward looking because it's kind of big. Um, this is the first time that I've seen a watch that kanisha daku, no, tidi siya katung usual regular size. Nga, uh, the regular size is only half of this one. So, if you're going to close this one like this, and this is how it will going to look like there. So, this is how it looks like here. I like I like this one. I like the uh, the thread that they put here as uh, as accent to the uh, to the design of their of their, of their band I like that one okay so that's it for for the review of this fossil watch which is commuter men's watch a blue dial round fossil men's watch the model is commuter So thank you very much for watching this video and then see you next review. Bye.